everyone and welcome back to Brad and Amy. Welcome if you're new. My name is Amy and today I'm going to be doing the perfect subscriber tag. I saw this tag done by My Life Wendy and Linda from Josephine's Daughter and I will link both their channels here. And I thought it was really interesting so I thought I would go ahead and give it a shot myself. So the first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel? When I first started YouTube, I did do that, but now, no, I don't do that anymore. I look at the channel first, I see what sort of content that they have, and I'll watch their latest video, and then if it's something that I'm interested in, I will go ahead and subscribe. Number two, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? No, it doesn't, and that's why I don't always say it in my own videos. I do say it in some of them, but I don't say it every time. I just know it's something that doesn't really work on me, so why would I use it all the time? That's sort of my thinking on that. Number three, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Uh, I'm not really sure at this point. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to check, but I would say between five and 10 channels. Uh, I used to have a lot of them turned on and I was just getting notified constantly. What I do is I look through my subscription feed at least once or twice a day, and then I'll add the videos that I wanna see to my watch later folder. And then that way, when I do have the time to sit down and watch, it's all right there in one folder and I don't have to scroll through the feed and decide at that point what I wanna watch. It's already in there for me. Number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? Um, I don't watch every video, no. I, I try to watch as many as I can, but there's just not enough time in the day. If you're watching this and you make YouTube videos, then you know it's just, it takes so long for the planning, the filming, the editing. There's just not enough time to watch everyone's videos when you're busy doing all that, plus taking care of your family and your house. And some of you even work, and I cannot even imagine when I used to work full-time or even part-time, I can't imagine doing YouTube at the same time. I don't know how you all do it. Props to you guys for doing that. Number five, how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy that you are? Um, hmm. If I'm really busy, I'll wait until I have time to actually sit down and watch the video. I won't. You know, there, there isn't a single person that I subscribe to that I can think of where I'll just stop everything because you can't always do that. But there are a few that I will definitely watch the same day. I won't wait longer than that to watch just because I can't wait. Hello. Uh, there is a channel that Brad and I watch definitely the same day that it comes out. We'll watch it that evening on the TV, and that is Flip Side of the Moon. She strictly does day in the life vlogs with her three young boys, and she is so funny and we always look forward to watching her videos. I have this much motivation to do anything right now. Yeah, she's so funny and has really clever editing and um, we never miss her. And then of course, James Farrow. James, you know I love you. We never miss your videos. It must be quite weird if people are walking past and I'm eating a banana, possibly they might think in a seductive manner if I'm filming myself. That's not the case. We end up watching him the same day. He usually comes out with a new vlog on Fridays and we end up watching it together on Friday evening. So number six, number six, what kind of commenter are you? I think I'm a pretty good commenter. I'm pretty consistent, I would say. Uh, and what I mean by that is if I've watched your video, I will comment on it, but I don't comment on every video that I watch, but I will at least give a thumbs up for it. I just think that it's important to have that interaction with other people. And it's, I don't know, I think it's especially important for me because I am so antisocial, and so it's nice to have that interaction with people online and 
I spend so much time with you all. I feel like I know you. I feel like I've spent time with you when I've watched your videos, and I hope that you feel the same way when you watch mine. So yeah, I think leaving comments is important, even if you just say, love the video, and that's pretty much it, because sometimes that's, you know, all you have time to put. Yeah, I would just say pretty consistent. Number seven, do you skip ads or watch? I definitely watch YouTubers ads that I consider friends or you know people that I've been watching for a while they watch my videos and especially if they're a newer youtuber I will watch their ads because I know that that's really helping them out there are some youtubers that I watch who have tons and tons of subscribers like hundreds of thousands millions and I don't always watch their ads but even then sometimes I do it really just depends on how much time I have you're back. Oh, goodness gracious. Number eight, do you speed up videos? Rarely, I, I hardly ever do that. Um, I'd have to be in a really big hurry to speed up someone's video. Uh-oh, somebody's got a hairball. You okay? Number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? I have done that, yes. Uh, I don't do it a lot, but I, just recently heard, I forget who said it. I think it may have been Ashley from Till Back and Do Us Par, but she mentioned that even if you click on someone's affiliate link, like their Amazon store, if you don't buy anything that's in their list at all, but you just buy anything, anything else, it still helps that person out. I have a few uh, YouTubers that I like to watch who are smaller channels and if they have affiliate links I will try to remember to go on there click the link and then buy whatever it was that I was gonna buy anyway because I was gonna buy it anyway and it helps them out number 10 what is your preference when it comes to video length um, this is gonna sound kind of strange because not all my videos are this length uh, a lot of them are but I prefer to watch videos that are 5 to 15 minutes long. Generally, I myself will make videos that are around 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, once in a while, I'll do one that's closer to 5 minutes, like if it's a cooking video or something like that. But um, I just find it a lot easier than to watch something that's longer. Now, if it's a vlog, obviously, yes. I mean, those can be longer and that's fine because there's so much that you're doing in a day and you gotta fit it all in. Um, but if it's like a cleaning video or you know anything like that, I, I would say 15 minutes is probably what I would prefer. And it's what I try to do with my own. I just uploaded one today and I can't remember exactly how long it is. It'd be funny if it was longer than 15 minutes, but I don't think it was. I think it was closer to 12, something like that. Number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? Yes, I pretty much will give a thumbs up to every video that I watch if it's someone that I subscribe to. I just think it's important to support people that way. I know that the thumbs up and the thumbs down actually helps people. So give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Number 12, do you ever thumbs down a video? No, I never thumbs down a video. It's, there's just no reason to do it. It, like I was just saying, it actually helps their video to thumbs down it. So if I really don't like a video, which doesn't happen that often, but if I don't like it, I just won't do anything. That's pretty much the most damage you can do, I suppose. It's never constructive to leave mean comments or put, give a thumbs down to someone. I just, I cannot do that. I can't. Number 13, which is the last question, do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? I have. Uh, once or twice I've mentioned another YouTuber on Instagram and Twitter. I don't really use Twitter very much anymore. It's just so negative and that's really what I love about Instagram is it's very positive. Definitely a lot more positive than Twitter and even Facebook. I really prefer Instagram. So the shorter answer, yes, I definitely will do that. I don't do it a lot, but I have done it. So that's it for this tag. I am gonna go ahead and tag a few people. It doesn't mean that you have to do it, and I completely understand if you don't, you don't have time or whatever, I, it's all good. I just wanna go ahead and tag a few people that I would really love to see do this tag. First of all, 
James Farrow. James, you knew I was gonna tag you. We love you. I'm also gonna tag Sam from Anderson Lane, Deanna Nova, Holly from Hawks and Jones, and Stacy from You, Me, and Alfie. And anyone else that's watching, if you would like to do this, I would love to see it. Um, I know I say that on any tag that I do, but it's the truth. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks again to Wendy from My Life Wendy and Linda from Josephine's Daughter for doing this tag and giving me the idea to do it myself. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.